So one of the best Fire Stick Fire TV apps I had completely forgotten about. It's been on my website for a while. There's been an update to it and it's working better than ever. And we're going to show you all about it. And this is a almost must have on your device. I can't believe I haven't used it for a while. Um, quick shout out to Tech Doctor UK. Obviously a reminder, his video reminded me we've got this app. We used to use this app. Why aren't we still using it? So we gone and checked it out and it's brilliant. Before I tell you about it, before I show you about it, do stay tuned. But I do ask if you can, if you're new here, do remember to subscribe to the channel. Check out, we've got everything Fire Stick streaming related, Fire TV related, Android TV, all on one channel. Plus, we've got tons of videos there for you to check out and will help you on your streaming journey. And if you're a regular watcher here, do watch till the end and drop me your thoughts underneath. So we are looking today at an application which is designed to update your applications. This is one of the questions I get asked a lot or I see posts about on social media. How do I update my app? It says there's a new version available, but I can't do it directly on my Fire Stick. I don't know where to get the new version. I don't know how to update my application. This app is called APK Updater and it loads up, does a quick search and shows all the apps you have on your device. They're all on there and what it will do, it will let you know if you have any updates. For example, down the bottom here, we've got apps, search, and updates. If you click on updates, mine is telling me I've got a few updates for different devices, um, a few updates, sorry, for different applications on my device. I don't have a lot of apps on this device. Um, majority are just Amazon ones because this is just the one I film with, but it's telling me I've got an update for downloader. We've got version 1.4.3, which is updated to 1.4.4. Um, we've got an update, slight tweak to Disney Plus, and we've got an update for KODI as well on there. So you can click install and you can install those applications on your device. Um, downside, if it's installed via APK Mirror, it will open up the website. If it's an update which isn't by APK Mirror, it will install automatically directly onto your device. So take that into note. I will show you later on how you can turn off APK Mirror as one of the sources so you can install directly onto your device. But we're going to show you how to get this on your system to start with. So first thing you need to do is go across and obviously we need downloader this application to get this installed. So to do that, we need to go to our magnifying glass and type in here downloader. D O W N click on downloader and click and get that installed. Once that's installed, you would need to go to your settings, MyFi TV, developer options. If you do not have developer options, there is a video linked underneath on how to turn these on. Turn on ADB debugging, install unknown apps, turn it on for downloader. You will also need to come and do it for APK updater later. So do come back to this part of the video if you don't remember how to turn on this part. Okay, so now we need to open up the downloader app. Click it. And we're going to go to my website, which is docsquiffy.com forward slash download. You can type this URL in here, or if it allows you, you can type 75726. Type that in there, click go. Again, that is linked directly underneath this video for you. Um, it's in the description. If you need it, you can try it under there on your mobile phone as well. Okay, this will get to my downloads page. And we're going to scroll down. We're going to scroll down and we've got new updates and APKs at the top. It should be there depending on when you're watching this video, you see APK updater. Or if you go down to downloads and tools, it's just there as well. You can click it. Scroll down, there's a big gray download button. You click on that and it will install on your device for you. You click install. And you can click done. And then you can delete this file and delete. Okay, that's now installed on your Fire Stick. To find it, if you go to these three squares and a plus, under my apps, it'll be in there somewhere. Mine's at the top because I've moved it. We can open it up. It will do a scan of your device. Like before, there we go. I was in my settings, but and that is all done. Updates are in here. Mine are all by APK Mirror. If you do click these, like I say, it will ask you to open up the website. If you have updates by other places, it will install instantly. So if you want to turn off APK Mirror, you can click on your settings and you can go down to where it says sources and you can turn off for any sources you don't trust or don't want to use. So APK Mirror, I can turn it off. And then if I go back to my settings, 
and my updates. If I refresh it now, I'll have no updates because I don't want to use APK Mirror for this specific version. But if you don't mind using APK Mirror, you can do it. If you've got a browser which downloads, you can go through it and pick the one you want. It's a great app. It's a great tool. And I think you'll find it very useful. Also in there, there is a search feature where you can search for applications as well if you want to. Um, so you could have a little search in it to tell you what's available. Um, another great idea. Another great idea. So you can have a little type in here, see what's available, and you can download it from all of its sources if they're available. So give it a play, give it a test out, and let me know what you think of it in the comments underneath. Okay. Also, as always, though, if you can, before you leave, quick word from one of our partners. We've got a great offer underneath at 72% off for IP Vanish VPN. If you are interested in a VPN, that is linked underneath for you now. We get a small commission, so it does help support the channel and help us do what we were doing. There's a 30 day risk free money back on there. So if it isn't the one for you, once you've tried it, you can get your money back. And that is linked directly underneath for you. OK, brilliant. Remember, check out the rest of the channel. We've got tons of content, tons of videos you will like. I guarantee you'll find something interesting, whether it's watching Premier League football, whether it's fire sticks, whether it's tech, whether it's secret settings, whether it's updates, all linked underneath. So hit me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon.